this outfit right here is just a normal senator but at the back here is what i want to make mention of this particular thing that ari is pointing to is called a joke but we call it a back facing so i'll be showing you guys how to cut a back facing and different designs you can do with a back facing so it's quite a simple tutorial and i hope you guys enjoy it i'll be showing you you can cut it straight hello guys cut a welcome once again to the same workshop so here I, I already cut up my borders as you can see this is the right side and this is the wrong side so this is the borders i'll be used in cutting my back facing back facing this is the, the some people call it yoke front yoke back yoke but this is this would be the back facing i generally call it back facing so if you call it yoke you can call it yoke so here i'll be using this but I used to cut out my back facing. So the ideal measurement I use for my back facing from the, I'm just going to put it like this. I'm going to place the borders on it. Basically, there's no specific measurements you can use for how deep you want your facing to be. But as for me, I use six inch. For the depth of my facing how long i want it to be from the back so that even if i'm adding an a shadow facing which we, which i use for the label it won't be beyond like five inch that's what i usually use so i use six inch for my back facing plus the inches that i'll be folding inside i mostly use seven inch that is if i'm just cutting it straight that will be seven inch maximum i'm going to show you several designs you can cut with your you can cut your back facing width but here i just want to give you a guideline that you can follow six inch is okay if you're going for a separate design you can make it longer than six inch maybe 10 14 whatever but that's the average that i use so here i have my seven inch seven inch okay so here i have my seven inch one inch for the folding in Folding allowance. So as you can see right now, I'm going to cut this out. So I'm going to show you guys different designs that you can cut your back facing you can see that so here is my facing Do you see that so if I'm if I'm to start making it this is the front part and this is the back side I'm just going to fold in my one inch here which I'll be used for you can see that but if you want to go for i believe you can see it this is what it looks like just folding your one inch and you can sew it straight to your borders but if you are making a separate design i'm going to show you like 30 different designs that you can do with your facing just fold it back and on this one i will be making it a slant design so here I'll be cutting out like two inch from this side. I'll be cutting out two inch from here. So I'm just going to. Okay, before I okay, let me use this one first. I think that's I'll be cutting out one inch from here. One inch, don't forget. I'm just going to mark out one inch. Going to so with this, it's going to give you a uh, something like a triangle edge at the an angle edge at the edge of your back. So this is the design you're going for. So after that, if you open it, you're going to have something like this. So you can easily fold these parts, fold your one inch from here. See that. You can fold your one inch from here as well, so you're going to have a pointy mouth at this gators right here. So that's the first thing you can do. You can do this kind of design. It's quite popular and most people use it. I personally, I only go for straight, like straight, and sometimes I go for this. 
So the other design you can do is something like this. I'm going to cut out from this down part, I'm going to cut out two inch, 1.5, sorry. I'm going to cut out 1.5. 1.5. If I cut out the 1.5, so I'm going to have this shape. You can do anything with your back facing just to create a design or something. You see that? With this 1.5 that I cut out, I will only be so here. You can easily you can see what I have here. So you can easily fold in like half of an inch here. Is going to use your iron to press it down during the curve round and you're going to place your interfacing inside before you start doing the curve you're going to curve it to this side then you start another curve here it's a very very beautiful design if you want to go for that as well you'll we'll make sure you get this shape you can see that you make sure that you have this shape after you place your interfacing don't forget you're going to put an interfacing to that so there are another design that you can do with this is um there are several designs i don't even use most of them because they, they sometimes look childish but if you want to like go for just get crazy and creative you can you can do so i don't know i don't know what i can do for you guys again but i feel like you understand the basics of back facing you can do shorten it like this do it anyhow anyhow just the choice so that's about it on this video i hope you guys enjoy it and i hope it add a little bit of something to your creativity so that's about it on this video if you enjoy the video make sure you give it a thumb up and make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel peace and i'll see you on another video